so I've tested out some more designs which can work with only one disc. Um, so this one I designed, it's uh, it's a bit bulky, but this will work with only one disc in the loop. As soon as this disc finishes playing, it goes into there and automatically gets put all the way back up there. It detects when a disc is in here, sends a signal through here, pulses back through itself. This observer detects that pulsing redstone dust and sends a signal back through here, directly powering this block, which indirectly powers that, and of course pushes the pushes the disc up and back into there. I read through the comments on the last video, and these are two designs of the comments recommended. Um, this one is really compact, really simple. I, it's pretty impressive. Um, not 100% sure how it works, but somehow this observer can detect when a disc is being played. My, my guess is, here, let's test this out. My guess is it has, it, observers can um, detect when a hopper is locked or not. So let's try this out. So, if we place a redstone block there, does that give an output? Yeah. So when a hopper receives power to lock it, that counts as a block update for the observer to detect. So that's, that is how this one works. So it's just observing the the hopper and because of the power output of the jukebox it will detect when the jukebox stops playing and then send the signal through there um, also this one will automatically repeat until a disc starts playing again because it, it when this stops playing this unlocks it detects that it sends a signal through here to this block that redstone powers this block, directly powers this block, indirectly powers that, of course, so the disc will go up through both of them. Um, but also, since this block is directly powered, it will indirectly power that. But it it's a loop, a signal loop, so a redstone signal keeps going around until a, a disc is playing again, and then it's, it stops the loop, so... It's it's really cool design. I think this is my favorite design, just the the way it works. Um, and then this is another one from the comments section. I'll put the comments on screen. I can't remember who commented, but or will I put it on the screen? I don't know. We'll see. Um, this one has the exact same loop as the others, although this time you're using a a self shorting redstone torch. Um, so. As soon as this stops playing, the redstone torch comes on, sends power up here, back into that, which then puts power back in there. So it shorts itself out, but it just keeps like flashing. And since it's right next to these, it'll power both of these until the disc goes back in there. And once this is powered from the jukebox, then the the shorting, the self-shorting redstone torch stops. It's pretty, pretty, pretty ingenious design. Again, from the comments, not from me. Um, but yeah, the one downside, I mean, these are, these are great compact designs for if you just want one disc on loop constantly, but the downside of all three of these designs is when, there it is, is when the disc finishes playing, the droppers will click a couple of times before the disc starts playing again. They click because they're empty, um, but these will... The, they click because they're empty, but if you have them full of more music discs, then they won't make that clicking noise. So if you just put more discs into the loop, then that'll remove the clicking. It'll only click if you have um, probably probably less than four discs, but at least at least at least they work with less than four discs. Unlike my design, which will only function if you have four at least four discs in there. Minimum of four discs is required for this loop um, because every time um, the the jukebox stops playing a record, it sends a just a, a one quick redstone pulse into the droppers to move everything around. So every time the jukebox fi finishes what it is currently playing, pulse goes through. Oops. Pulse goes through. The discs rotate 
each one into the next thing every time. So it goes like that. So if you have less than four disks in this loop, then that means um, it'll still play for a little bit, but once the disks go back, once once this dropper is empty, then that means when this disk stops playing, it'll send a pulse, the disk will go down, the disk in the bottom will go up, and then, but since there was nothing here, that means now nothing is playing, and that breaks the, the cycle. Because now there's nothing playing to then send a pulse, send the next pulse once it's done playing, and thus your your repeater stops working, your loop breaks. That's why you need four discs for this one. And for those comments asking about um, whether you can you can toggle these auto jukeboxes on or off, it's very simple. You just have to put a lever on the jukebox itself. That that if you put that on, then turn the switch on. That'll lock them, so then they they won't play. Like you can see this one, there's no music coming out of it. This one's stopped playing. And then you just switch it on and then it'll automatically like restart the cycle and start playing again. Of course, once you switch it off, it'll still continue to play its current disc until that disc finishes and then it'll stop until you flip it on again. Pretty simple.